The new at six look at this video. The owner of a luxury clothing store in Milwaukee now explains why he fired those shots at intruders. Surveillance cameras capture the brazen burglary attempt and the gunfire. Our Tom Murray is live at MLK Meineke with the latest. Tom. Yeah, Carol Charles, those would be burglars rammed a minivan right into the front entrance of Bouchard's here. It's now replaced and repaired. I'm told these new concrete posts are secured four feet into the ground. And the owner of the store is hoping this surveillance video sends a message to anyone who's thinking of stealing from him. Right away, I... I was scared for my life. Bouchard's, a high-end clothing store on the north side, owner Rami Muir is speaking for the first time publicly about what you see on this video. There is a pistol on the counter, but when the store owner saw what was developing outside, he went to the back room for a rifle. I saw guys outside with guns and they were wearing hoodies and summertime. And that's where it started. It's about 4 a.m. A stolen minivan charges into the reinforced front door. Someone driving a minivan, three guys charges to the door. So, you know, it was a lot of guys out there, like I said. So I believe that if they would have gone through the door, I would have been dead. Muir fired several rounds at intruders trying to break into the store. Police say 20-year-old suspect Deshaun Bird McQuay was struck three times. It's believed the burst in the video is from a shot that struck a padlock. I believe that they were going to kill me, you know, and that's the only reason I opened fire. Authorities cleared the store owner, determining he acted within the law when he fired those shots. This was pretty clearly a person exercising both his right to self-defense and implementing the Newcastle Doctrine, which says... You don't have to let people break into your business. And there's one of the many surveillance cameras outside Bouchard's. There are two other named suspects in the criminal complaint, but they have yet to be charged. The owner tells me that he goes to the gun range about once a week to practice. This was the first time that he's fired outside of a controlled setting. Live at MLK and Meineke, Tom Murray, today's TMJ4. Yeah, those criminals, very bold. Thank you very much, Tom.